routine with a bit of a dancing, a little bit of bar, and let's get some steps in on this fast beat music that is brand new. So get whatever you need to drink along while you're working out, pause the video whenever you need to, and make sure to refuel. And I'll see you right here, right now, after I turn the music on. Let's just warm up, walk in place. Just checking my music is on. That's one thing I just keep doing when I start, because I don't want to keep starting and my music is not on. That's the worst thing you want to have happen. All right, so let's bring our left knees up and pump up those arms. You got it. Warm up that body of yours. And make sure you breathe. Nice breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Okay, down, tap, side, side, knees bent, we're going to reach up with our arms, ready? Up, knees bent, elbows bent here and then you stretch as high as you can. She knows. There you go. Breathe out as you reach up high with your arm. You're gonna go down low. A few more up and then we'll reach down with our arms. Last one, now down. One shoulder up, one shoulder down. Keep those knees bent and tap with your toes. Have that imaginary string and pull on the top of your head, crown up toward the sky. Long breath out. Now you're gonna reach across, across, across. Make a fist or keep your arm hand open. Punch, punch, in. So go in and across. You got it. Keep going. Now 
we're going to take this as a jab up with our arm. You're going to kick forward. Keep going. Kick forward as you go across. Okay, bring the body across. There you go. Sit down onto you, into your heel. With your spine, with your torso and your bum. Okay, now we're gonna go back with our legs. Give a break to your hands. So you're not constantly that pinching mode or fist. Focus on those legs. Put them back, hamstring, hamstrings. Curl, curl. You got it. Now reach across. Reach, reach across.
bicep curl as you go down, crunch down. Your body goes, trying to go into a ball. Okay. Let's wait for the music. We're gonna take this, going down. Down, up, cross, down. Inside leg is in front. Breathe out as you go down. Keep going. straight in front of you. Now we're gonna go down, up, down, up. Work your balance. Down, then up. Tap down, then up. Tap down, then up. Tap down, then up. A few more, you got it. Squeeze the shoulder 
raise, we're a little bit lower here. Especially since we're getting faster. Pull that belly in. This whole time. Slight so control in your abs, in your belly. Allows you for better balance. Okay, now we're gonna bring the leg instead of to the side, we're gonna bring it back. Back, back, back. You do the same with your arms, squeeze back. So you're getting your erector's muscle, the erector's spine and muscle on your spine. They're really working. But keep your core engaged without um, tilting your pelvis where you really constricting too much your back and your glutes, okay? It's about balance, front, back, left, right, and so much more. Okay, back to the side. Side, side. And I'm gonna do this forward, side and back, and continue. Front, side, back, side, and switch. You ready forward? Front, front. Squeeze back. You got it. Now move to the side. You ready? And go. Side, 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 side. Side. And you bend your knees. Back, back, back. Arms go lower and squeeze back. Long leave in here, but yet keep it tight, slightly tight control. Back to side. Arms back more horizontal, as opposed to further down. Pointing with your fingers. Jump, jump, jump. You 
if you can. Keep going. I'm gonna turn, don't turn so you can see. So my leg is rotated out. Put back here. Put your hands knee if it helps. On your hips. Because good right here to assist in that stretch. There you go. Then that goes back, that hand is going with it, and the other arm goes straight in front. Back to the side, 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 side. Okay, we're gonna take this forward again. Just slow, you don't have to jump. You can if you want. Forward, forward, forward. Thumbs this way. Arms up, arms up. Focusing on your arms now. The legs have been working hard. Just push the arms if you can. Side again. Push your legs. Arms to squat 90 or slightly above, but not above your head. Your knees are not locked, the knee, neither of them, especially the one you're standing on, while the other one goes up, forward, side, or back. Now we're gonna go back, you ready? Back, 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 back. Put the belly in and let your body go forward. Don't keep your body straight up. Let it go in a diagonal forward. And pull the belly, and get that core. Always slightly bent, not locked. If your legs look uh, you know, colorful, that's good, that's blood flow. Blood flow going to your legs. Even in the joints, see my joints, the skin, the muscles are getting oxygen, blood flow, it's good for it. You can massage it. body good for the leg that's standing as you're strumming over your thighs, over your knees. You're healing your own knees as you're massaging them, increasing even more so, even more blood flow. And a little bit forward your body as you lean to that standing leg. And keep your head straight in front of you. Especially if you have a bit of dizziness, vertigo, like symptoms that can flare up. That's good. Okay, now we're getting into our cool day. Who feels this? Shake it all. Yeah. Oh, just tap. 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 Alright, 
we're going to do in out in out in out in out switch in out switch twisting your body Oops. Just keep up with the legs. And if the torso or arms don't follow, if you keep doing the moves with your legs, your body will do whatever uh, it feels it needs to do. So let, as I was trying to say, let the bottom of your toes onto the floor. Don't just put it on the tip of your foot, of your toe, okay? It's a whole toes and forefoot. Touch the floor. So as you twist and open, as your leg goes to the other side, your body counterbalance by staying open here. Okay, I'm going to move this forward. Got it? So we're going to start with the right leg for you. In, out, center. In, out, center. In, out, center. In, out, center. center. So your leg was kind of slightly forward or however far you want in front of you and then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Let's 
Take this further, get into further in the stretch. Lift your heel up here, the knees that's bent. Get a good stretch there. And massage your thigh. Back of your thigh. And go all the way down to your calf if you can reach. It's a good stretch, just like that. And point, flex, point, flex. As you strum the back of your leg, if you can reach. If you can't reach the bottom, then just do it on the top. Top, but do not put your body weight into your hand, like your body torso weight. Don't shift it over onto your hand and putting pressure on your knee. You're just using really uh, your hand gently whatever pressure you want, but just over your hand, not your whole body. Now switch side. Lift the heel up here. Flex your foot. Massage the bottom of your thigh. Top two. Move that tension build up in the air. It's good for your leg. Now we'll go point and flex, point, flex. Your body goes toward that side. But don't put your body weight onto your hand. You can even be more over this leg and put your other hand here across the midline here. So distributing some of the weight onto your fingers, onto, over your arm. Your arm is pretty much perpendicular over top. And do the same thing at the bottom if you can reach. Good. All right, this is great. Now I'm gonna add my double ball. I have it in a pink sock. Let me grab it quickly in my tools here. I'm gonna put in a few tools I have. All right, this is a double ball. Yes, it's in a pink sock now. So let's work those hamstrings. Actually, right now I'm gonna work my side of my IT band. And I'm gonna use this as a pillow to help work the side. I'm gonna lift my skirt here not to get it caught. I'm gonna use my pillow here to rest my head. Like if you have a ponytail, make sure it doesn't get stuck either. Okay, I'm gonna turn the bigger side of my double ball here, which Again, the last video I did about trigger point releases. This is really good. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this leg back so you can see what I'm doing with this one, bending and flexing here. Ready to get into the side. I'm gonna move up, getting more into my IT band, and also my vastus lateralis, which is right while it's underneath my IT band, iliotibia band, but it's in front. It's underneath, but it goes anterior of it, posterior of it, and just behind it as well. So when you bend your knee here, make sure it's bending in the right direction toward your hip, so you're not going this way. Or It does have some gear because you're gonna use your hip into that movement, but just make sure you're not, your knee is tracking properly. There, and extend. So you can stretch, it's a good stretch here. Bend and extend, and you know where the ball is, right? You can see it now. And you can move up, and you're gonna move down onto IT band and into your vastus lateralis, which is one of your quadricep muscle. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this leg lower so you can see. I'm gonna go into this position. You don't have to do this with your leg here. I'm doing it so you can see what I'm doing. Ideally, you wanna have just your leg here relaxing. And work that tri that quadricep. You can just rest there, just like that. Forward, you can go backward, you can go a bit more forward too. And then you're getting more definitely into your quadricep, front thigh muscles. I'm gonna switch side. So this is really good to loosen this up. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So the double ball 
the bigger side is on the forward in front of you and you're gonna go right below where your hip uh, meet at the femur move your hair out of the way if you have long hair like me and then there you go I'm gonna keep this upper leg back so you can see and bend and extend I'm gonna move up watch I'm gonna move this way so I'm more in the center of the camera there you go and now I'm a bit lower now I can move up and not be too far from the camera there you go so instead of doing uh, standing up stretches, I figured we would add a bit of uh, the quadricep and IT band, which is not something I have ever done, incorporated, uh, maybe I have, but not exactly like this, um, at the end of a workout video. So I hope you enjoyed this, where instead we're getting into true point releases and work on, it's kind of a moving meditation. Yeah, this feels really good. I mean, it may be uncomfortable and give some soreness to some of you if you have never done this before. But if you go slow and follow these instructions here, again, you may not be able to go with your leg straight in front of you here. This is an easier leg for me to do that too. Um, do not, I'm just, Putting my leg here so you can see what the other one is doing and then you can move up even further up with your body so that you can move down on the ball so the ball moves down lower closer to your knee but yet I am nowhere near to the knee you definitely don't want to put the ball or any ball directly on the knee itself I mean you could go you know really this far no problem once you get a bit lower it's still okay here just don't be obviously right on, there is even a purpose right in here, you could, and just don't go in the kneecap itself. And then here, bending and extending. Just always bend your knee where it's going toward your buttocks, your gluteal muscle, and give it a stretch. You could even give it a stretch like this, stretching your quadricep. That feels really good. All right. See a bit of redness, but it's increasing blood flow. It's really good for you. Uh, if you're in doubt, always check with a therapist, a physiotherapist, or physical therapist, massage therapist, a kinesiologist, your family doctor, of course, or a specialist such as a surgeon. Look for more videos with the double ball or the just the one ball, which. This one just has a one baseball. Uh, there's so many tools here. I'm just gonna give you a little quick um, review about tools that you can use for your self-care. This is a TheraBand uh, uh, strap that has little handles you can use to put your foot through, hands through, to help assist with stretches of your upper, lower body, and the whole body. This I just showed you a little bit on your thighs, more of my videos show you about more the glute, the buttocks area, so on and so forth. Same with this, I just like the double ball for reasons reason that I mentioned in my last video, because uh, I love it personally. Um, let's see, so from, we start with feet, this works really good for the feet. I am not paid by any of these companies. It's called the Foot Leveler, footwheel.com. You can find it, of course, at Amazon. I got it from a group of uh, chiropractors in the States that um, uh, sell, sold this product. Um, as I got a gait uh, analysis machine that also helps to do orthotics uh, for shoes. This is good for the foot to work. You could use it, I guess, for your hand, but it works really good. It's more meant for the feet. Um, the, if you don't have one of these and you have a golf ball, a golf ball, you can use it for your foot. So obviously without your sock, without your shoe, you could put it inside your sock or just like this and roll it. If it's too tender to use a golf ball, you could use a ball a little more squishy. This is a T-ball, a softball T-ball. If you can't be in this position because you 
I'm putting pressure on my knee. You could put a pillow, a towel here, or you could do it from standing, same thing, same principle, standing, holding on to the wall here. And you would just, this way you can as well even put more pressure, whether you can or cannot uh, be um, up on your knees because of knee issues or to keep your knees safe. Um, just even like this, you can put more of your body weight down and that's a really good stretch as well. As you lean forward, you're getting more into that stretch here into the bottom of the foot, the forefoot. And you can even get into uh, the different structure, following along, going into the metal, circling, and then going into your heel. Drop your toes down to give some support and then just let the pressure there, feel it going all the way through into your shin, into your calf. It's almost like it's traveling back up into your body. Uh, doing some reflexology on yourself. Breathe in and out. Okay, or well, you could use one of these again. This is really good if you're starting to get pain in the bottom of your foot, plantar fasciitis. It is painful. You have three spots it's getting into, but let me tell you, it's going to get rid of it very quickly. It's a little bit more intense than the golf ball, but oh boy, is it effective. I have used it before in times where I, was, I knew it could turn into plantar fasciitis. And it was gone in a few days because, um, yeah, I used that into my foot and that did amazing. It's like moving meditation, breath work. It's almost like feeling that pain it's giving you because you already have the pain anyhow. So might as well let it circulate through your body. That's the way I feel anyway. Then really it's ready to, to exit and then um, to get better. Um, obviously use your own discretion. Though something like this can work too. It is a TheraBand as well. Um, uh, just you can use these to squeeze. It's good for your for hand when people need to do rehabilitation for strength. There's some that are longer you can use but this is good as well. Um, if, if that is too much to use the other tools I'm using, I, I was using, you could use something like this and that is a start. This is very squishy. Uh, that can be used for the thigh like I just used it. Again, it's a lot uh, less intensive in, in, um, than the uh, hard ball which these two are made of. Uh, this one is made of with the two balls or this one is just the baseball. This is a great one too, that's a yoga set, that's called tptherapy.com TPT, TP actually. But that works really good for here. Same rolling, it's a little bit harder than the, the Therabinian tool here I was using, this one that you can bend. Uh, but this works very well for your IT bend. I've used this one here and then so these two sides here work good to stabilize your body like the double ball does. That is a good one too. Again, um, I like to support my body on a pillow when I do this. So really um, relaxing everything around. You can even do your quadriceps. So if I do this side here, you can do your quadricep and roll and stay on the spot, bend, extend. This can be fine for most people, for some people, but for most people who come to see us here in our clinic, we will use the double ball for that. That gets a lot deeper into the tissue and we get a better result for the issues that you're coming here for. The double ball works better. Okay, moving on to what else do I have in my toolbox here? One more that's good. The other ones we've talked about. Um, let me move this out of the way to keep the clutter not here. I'll take both of my shoes off to give you to be consistent here. So this is a Nike. This is great. You can use it here. It's great for your back, actually. Um, since since I'm using this, I have another tool that I like even better that 
actually is our own creation here at our clinic for our personal needs. Um, but here, let me move up my hair out of the way here. So, bracing your hair uh, with your hand here and to lace behind your head and ne at neck. It's really good to work between your shoulder blades and then stretching through here, working between your shoulder blades. So you can make your own double ball. Just make it with two balls that are the same size and you could work right there. It's good for chest expansion. And exhale. You could put a pillow behind your head or that pillow I have here. That could work too behind there. Let's see how that feels. And you could rest your head back. But you can't go as far into the expansion, but if that's all you need, you don't want to go any further, then you can work here, just like that. If you want to go further, then move the pillow or whatever you're using, bolster out of the way, keep your hair out of the way, and expand through the back here. Just support your head with your hands. Oh, there you go. That is very good. You can move up. And go down into your erector spiny muscle, multifidus, and support your head up. But let it rest into your hands. And work that out. I will bring the pillow back and let your head rest there, especially as you go more uh, mid thoracic, lower thoracic. I would rest it there for a moment. And this is a really good stretch. So if you do this that I showed you with those different tools after your workout, turn to your side, go into that side child pose here, and then slowly come up. You're going to feel so light and amazing. Uh, give yourself time to go through those positions with those different tools. I feel so much more open through here after using this uh, little double ball. Um, like we made a sewers tool with a two different size balls, you could make the same thing with uh, two balls that are the same size and uh, put it in a sock and get the same kind of workout um, as you would get something already made here in the store. Um, have fun with it. All right. You take care. Thank you so much for joining me today in another episode of Healthy Body by Sophie. Until next time, you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Namaste. Ciao.